I decluttered over 2,000 things from my house in one weekend. Hey guys, and welcome back. We bought a house, which is so exciting, except now we technically own two houses, so I wanna get this one ready to sell fast, which means decluttering. But I'm not just packing things up and putting it into storage. I wanna really look at my house differently and find things that can leave forever. And I feel like this is a really cool technique that you can do too. Instead of just looking at our stuff and saying, do I use this or do I like it? Ask yourself, if I was moving, is this worth packing paying someone to move and unpacking at my new house. And with this in my head, I just like, it's like my eyes were opened and I saw my stuff in a new light and I was really able to get rid of a ton of stuff, like too much stuff in just one weekend. So I started in Izzy's room with just clothes. And I asked her, I'm like, is this worth moving to a new home? Is like, are these things that you actually want to pack up and take with you and unpack and put back on hangers. And that was like an absolute no for a lot of her stuff. We just kept pulling things out and she was like, I don't like it, it doesn't fit, I'll never wear it again. And the pile kept growing. I think the thing that surprised me the most was things I don't normally think about when it comes to kids, like all their underwear. I found underwear in her underwear drawer that she had when she was in like grade one. I just never took the time to declutter that. Or did she? You probably, if you have kids, you should take a look at their underpants drawer. This was also the time that I just was like, am I going to pack all the lost socks? All the socks that don't have matches. I'm over it, guys. I'm over it. I filled it into a bag. It was easily like a hundred or more socks. I'm gonna say Izzy's room. Let's round it to 250 things that left. But honestly, it's probably more than that. As soon as Abby saw Izzy's giant pile and all the trash bags leaving, she wanted to make a game. She's competitive like her mother. So we went to Abby's room and just started again, pulling things out. Anything that wasn't worth moving to the new house, do you want this? Like, do you want to pack it, unpack it and hang it? If the answer's no, it's gotta go. And her pile grew too. She didn't have as many things, but over 100 things left Abby's room. Joe and I did our clothes too. We got rid of so much, definitely over 100 items, but I really wanted to tackle the master bathroom. It's tiny, but I was shocked when I actually was opening up the cabinets. I had so much stuff that I had forgotten I even owned. I had just shoved down in the bottom. And because I'm such a ladybug and such a Heidi hoarder, I like can compact things tightly. Over 100 things left this bathroom. Boxed hair dye, I had no business ever buying. So many bathroom products that I just actually didn't work out or don't like or makeup that had expired or wasn't even my color. I had fake nails upon fake nails upon fake nails. Why? I don't know, but it was all leaving my bathroom and it probably took me only 30 minutes and I filled an entire trash bag of stuff coming out of the bathroom. Definitely one of the most shameful spaces in my house is the garage. We've lived here 12 years now and never have we ever parked in here. It's always been full and it's a, not an overly huge garage, but I just dreamed of parking in a garage, but didn't think that could ever happen in this house, especially because we have so many bikes and hockey equipment. But it was time to just ask ourselves again, is this worth moving? We've had a four-wheeler that's been in this garage for five years that has never run. And we've kept telling ourselves we're gonna sell it one day. The same thing with sporting equipment. All of our kids play hockey, they play soccer and baseball, and every time they outgrow, we just hold on to the old sporting goods because Joe wants to sell it, but he never actually sells it. We had over a dozen pairs of skates that our kids have outgrown. We had shin pads and, and hockey pants and gloves and helmets. So many things that we were able to just donate to someone who needs it, leave the house. And two bikes that my kids have also outgrown. Again, we were going to sell someday. We just put it at the side of the road with a free sign and they all left. I'm like, this was exciting. This garage cleanout was cathartic to say the least, but the thing that kind of makes me sad is now that it's empty, we could have parked in here the whole 
time. There's nothing in here that I miss. All of this stuff gone was honestly just things that needed to go. What a shame, what a waste, but also I hope you're feeling motivated to head to your garage and just open spaces up and ask yourself, if I moved, would I take this? And if the answer is no, let it go. My laundry room is another hidey hole in this house that I pack really full. I had over 50 paint cans in here, five zero that were dried out absolute trash. So I was able to take those to the dump, to the hazardous waste section, and right off the bat, it's like 50 things gone. And also a lot of old, just ugh, gro just, it's gross. The laundry room was gross. So much better, but easily 200 things left that small laundry room. Behind this door is my most embarrassing secret. It's my hidey hole I call the Harry Potter closet. It's really the only storage I have in this entire house for all of my off-season everything, Christmas decorations. It's full to the brim. My goal today is to find one thousand things in here that can go. This is the hardest part for me by far. Like clothing, I don't really have an emotional attachment to. Home decor items, an irrational attachment to. I have about 50 gazillion of these green balls from the dollar store. Why? I don't know. I don't need them all. And yet this hurts to let go. I have a problem. I'm at probably like 150 things here roughly and I have I think double this so I'm not gonna hit that full thousand but 250 isn't bad. <sighs> what do you do when you have a personalized thing? So I have this photo pillow. I never use it, it doesn't match anything, but I feel like I can't donate it. It's a picture of my kids, so I've been holding on to it because I don't want to throw it out. But at the end of the day, it's time to just let this go into the trash. This is a lot. I'm gonna sort now into obviously trash and donation. I'm going to say this is 250 things. It's probably more than that. I'm being conservative, but this is a ton of stuff leaving my house in under 45 minutes. I'm only going to donate the stuff that's actually really good. The donation center does not want like all the little piddly crap. So pillows, anything that's like nice, I'm going to put in clear. The rest is just leaving my house in trash bags and that's okay. Okay. I'm moving on to the shed. Brace yourself. This is bad in here. The crazy thing is I said to Joe that I was going to declutter the shed and he said, and I quote, I've already decluttered it. There's nothing in there that can go. So I'm going to just do this. I'm going to make a pile of the things I think can go. And then he's going to come and see if he wants to keep any of it. I pretty much guarantee he's going to want to keep none of it. But this is what we do. We kind of think all the stuff in here is important. And then it looks like this because we don't want to face the disaster. I'm going in, you guys. Right off the bat, this can go. Goodbye. This random bucket. Yeah, bye bye. Goodbye, birds. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Why does it look like this? I did this. I did this. I, there's probably mice in here. I hate this. Oh my. Good golly. Miss Molly, what the ever living. Frickin' quarter in the morning. It's only been about 15 minutes, but I'm exhausted and filthy and I want to be done. There's over 300 things I've already pulled out. I'm gonna deal with the rest another day. I'm gonna load this into my van and take it to the dump right now. Joe took two full truckloads of trash to the dump and I took a whole van full from the shed to the dump. And now I have even more donations to go again today, a whole another van full of donations. It's crazy, over two, 
thousand items left my house in one weekend. And I also just went around and looked at my house and just asked like, just general stuff. Would I take this? I just glanced in the kitchen and in the living room. So surprising. I feel like this is a technique you got to try. It's called imagination station. Pretend you're moving. Pretend you just bought your dream house and you have to sell your house. What do you want to pack? What is worth bringing to the new house? It doesn't matter if you're moving. This is an opportunity for you to try a different decluttering technique using a little bit of imagination. I promise you this is eye-opening and yeah, I'm feeling the pressure because we actually are moving. But I think if you're using this pretending, you can have the same effect at your house. Every time we declutter, it's like peeling back layers of an onion and we find more and more stuff that can go. And every time we get things out of our house, our life is easier. So I hope you spend this weekend doing a little bit of decluttering. It was worth it. It was a lot of work. I'm exhausted, but man, does my house feel bigger and cleaner and fresher. And I want that for you too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. Something bonk donks hilarious happened to me today. Um, I'm gonna share it with you because I share everything with you. A few weeks ago, I got a new family doctor. My family doctor was like 150 years old. I loved him, but he recently retired. So I got a new doctor and I was giving him my full history, my medical history, which is extensive. I've had Plenty of organs removed, but I also was telling him about my ADHD diagnosis and the medication that I was on. He recommended seeing a psychiatrist and perhaps getting some new medication. So he switched my meds, which, you know, it's cool, I guess. But I was also like, why am I seeing a psychiatrist? He asked me a lot of questions about my life, about my stress level, about my work. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, right? They're supposed to get a full medical history. Anyways, fast forward to today. I walk into this psychiatrist's office. Of course, I'm 15 minutes late because ADHD. And he starts going down the list of the things the doctor has said. Super hyper. She's like a little bog of dogs, you know. Anyways, and I'm answering all these questions. Then finally, the psychiatrist is like, and it says here, you like to start fires and you want to burn things to the ground. I was like, no, I definitely didn't say that. I think maybe the doctor has the files messed up. And the psychiatrist is like, no, like everything is about you. And we're going through. And he says right here that you said you want to burn everything to the ground. <laughs> Listen, I... I 100% probably said that because, you know, we were talking about my business and my family. And sometimes when I'm stressed, I just want to burn everything to the ground. Not literally, like metaphorically, like I want to give up sometimes or just start again, start fresh. I don't actually want to burn everything to the ground. And the fact that my family doctor thinks that, I can never go there again. I need a new family doctor now. He thinks I'm nuts, like real nuts. Not my kind of nuts, but like nuts nuts. And um, so yeah, I think the lesson here is maybe I need to be careful what I say. I'll say things like, if you don't pick up your dirty clothes off the floor, I will kill you. I'm not actually going to kill my husband. It's um figment of speech, isn't it? Am I alone? Let me know in the comments below if you've ever said something like this before, obviously not wanting to actually do it, or am I alone? Like, is, is this a weird? Is that, should this doctor not have known that when I said this, that I was just using a figment of speech, or is this only speech that makes sense in my mind? Let me know in the comments below if I'm crazy pants. I'll see you guys next time.